Lisa Dubrow is a kindergarten teacher in California with more than three decades of experience in the classroom. Her school has yet to open its doors for in-person learning, and there's no timeline for them to do that anytime soon. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us tonight. You sent us some very thoughtful words about how important you think this crisis is for our children in the country. You say that you believe that the government in California is holding the people hostage in this situation. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. I um, have witnessed the government using children to prevent adults from returning to their jobs and for our economy to uh, kick back to the life that we had had before COVID hit. Um, we see all the ang anxiety built around COVID. We see people fearful for their future uh, financial well-being. And on top of that, at this height of anxiety, we asked parents to take on the role of basically teachers in the home via computerized learning. That is just a cocktail that's way too far for anyone to imagine, especially for young children. I'm a kindergarten teacher. We're all about the concrete, and the computer isn't very concrete. So, Lisa, you know, you saw the comments that Randy Weingarten made, and she represents teachers all across the country. She's concerned about their health, about the children's health, um, but you disagree with, with what she is all about in this debate. Why? Correct. Randy Weingartner is a political activist. She has a political goal. She and others who are united in their vision for what America should look like, like the word transformation. And they are using this situation and others to transform America. So you think that we are becoming too complacent in the rules and regulations that surround this and that we have become too frightened about it? Is that accurate? Ac Actually, in my county of 1.6 million people in April, under 200 people had died due co to COVID, 1.6 compared to 200 deaths. And those deaths were people in their late 60s and 70s. It made no sense that all around me, people weren't able to go to school or work or the gym but we were able to go to Costco and we were able to go to the grocery store. It, it never made sense. And you say you've seen top level students who are now uh, failing in their schools. That's, that's tragedy. Well, it's tragedy for everyone because top level students who've been straight A students are now giving up. I know parents dealing with these very depressed children, pe young people who haven't been able to be with their friends, continue their sports, um, are looking at college and just going, how is this gonna work? Um, right. Students who are not high achievers are overwhelmed with the distance, the lack of connection, the social emotional, uh, benefits of being with other kids and being with people that care for you and enjoy you. We've lost the, uh, the positive connection, the relationship to learning. Well, uh, like a kindergarten teacher, uh, you get right to the heart of the matter. Um, and it's obvious that you care about these children a lot. Lisa Dubrow, thank you very much for being here tonight. I do thank appreciate you. it. So coming up next,